So hello everyone, my name is Vishab Yadav and I am from Universal Integrated Solution and today we are at Infocom India 2022. So Lumens has just launched a two-channel PIP matrix switcher which has a capability of recording and streaming as well. So today I am going to demonstrate you the latest device that is LC100. I'll go step by step by introducing the front panel then the back panel then I'll make sure that you will understand how the web GUI of LC100 works. So let's start with the front panel. So below you can see the front panel of LC100. Now LC100 comes with a inbuilt display which also has a toggler. This comes in play when you want to see the IP, the firmware version, you want to see the VSCA address, serial number and much more. You can also edit some of the details by just adjusting this toggler. With that you get some predefined buttons with LC100 such as for recording. As now you can see we have started the recording and we are recording within the LC100. So recording button is highlighted in red. Then comes the streaming button, then comes the layout button and now you also get an on off button on the front panel of LC100. On the below there are some of the additional layout button from which you can press and change the layout from the front panel itself. Aside of the buttons you will see some USB inputs cause LC100 has now multiple video feeds that I am going to talk about in a moment. So now we'll come on the back panel of LC100. So as you can see from the extreme left there are some increased video input ports. Now LC100 comes with a 3G SDI input with the existing SDI input. So now uh, Lumens, what Lumens has done is they have also given a SDMI pass through in the first input where you can get a replicate display of SDMI 1 input. From the second input point of view, uh, you also have another 3G SDI input with the existing SDMI inputs. Next comes the output portion. In the output portion, you will be able to see one as a PGM view, one as the multi view. So now what these two output port does is one will give you the access of the GUI, how the GUI works. I'll show you the interactivity through the a touch panel in a moment. And one is the portion where you get the final view of LC, what you are producing, what will be recorded and streamed through LC100. Next to the output ports, you will see some of the USB ports, the increased USB ports. Now you can give a video, a USB camera video input to the device. And additional to the camera, you can also give uh, audio USB audio to this device. Next to the USB ports, you, there comes the Ethernet port uh, for giving the network to the device uh, for accessing it through Ethernet or through the IP address. Apart from next to the Ethernet port, you'll see RS232 and RS485 control ports from where you can control the LC device with a third party controller also. Now, uh, Lumens has also given you some increased audio ports as well. As you can see there are XLR left and right. Uh, the label microphone that I have connected now is directly connected to LC100 uh, through a Phoenix connector and I hope you, will, you are able to hear me very loud and clear. Next to the XLR ports you will be able to see some existing line in and line out ports in the LC100. Not only got increased inputs and output ports in LC100, you also get some increased storage as now LC100 comes with a default storage of 2TB. This was the front and back panel of LC100. Now we'll go to the GUI, how you can interact with the device and how what all things you can do just by adding a touch panel to the device. I'll just change the layout so that you will be able to see the interaction. Now on my screen you will be able to see an interactive panel right here. So this is the front page of the GUI of LC100. On the left hand side you will be able to see all the channels. There are, it is a two channel mixer as I just told you. So you will be see, able to see the channel 1 and channel 2. So when I click on the first camera, so all the IP cameras that are connected to the device will be visible here. Apart from that the existing input ports like SDMI and 3G SDI are also available here. With that, you also get a USB video option and all the IP camera that can be connected to the device. With that, uh, now I'll come to the channel 2 portion. 
So in the channel 2, same as the channel 1, you will be able to see HDMI, 3G SDI, USB video and all the multiple IP cameras that are connected to the device. Instead of this, now you also get a USB ports cause now LC100 has multiple USB ports. You can see two on the front panel and two on the back panel. So you can connect multiple USB video as well as USB audio. For that you get the USB video as well as the USB audio options and you can just if you have connected the USB video and audio you can just toggle the video and audio and select which USB camera you want to show or which USB audio you want to deliver. On the right hand side you will be able to see a final PGMV or final layout that you are going to record stream through the LC100. Below that we will come to the recording part, audio part, scenes and camera control. I will just go into the detail with all the parts. First comes is the recording part. As you can see now here, uh, we have started the recording and there is a pause and stop button in the recording. You will be able to see the in the below the final PGM view, you will be able to see the recording button highlighted over here. Same as that, uh, when we come to the stream, LC100 is same as LC200 when it comes to streaming because LC100 can also stream on three platforms, anywhere platforms at the same point of time. Either it be YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, your personal cloud, you can do that. Apart from these three streams, you can also do a local stream within the network through a VLC media player. Yeah. Now LC100 also comes with a great feature like they have upgraded it in LC200 also, uh, intermission part. I'll just click on the intermission part to show you but I guess the video will be paused so I won't do that you can click on intermission uh, like is somewhere is something is going on and do you don't want to show that you can click on the intermission button and the display will show will be right back so after all the things are done and you are ready to go live again you can just click on live and you are live again there is also button called snapshot where you can click a snapshot of the image for the final view that you have created now I'll come to the audio part as, as, as soon as I click on audio, you will see all the audio levels that are here. Input 1, input 2, XLR input that we have connected. You can see the leveler going, leveler going up and down. Then there is line in and USB audio. We have not connected a USB audio as of now. That's why the leveler is not going up. Then the final PGM view, you will be able to see the leveler going up because it's the final layout audio that is being recorded. You also get a line in and HDMI out. So if you are you have turned on the audio, then this audio will be delivered through your HDMI display that you have connected to the device. Apart from the audio parts, we'll come on to scenes. So uh, what I'm going to show you, each and everything can be customized over here according to your need or your customer's need. So in the scenes part, you will see some predefined layouts that are created by Lumens only. So you can also uh, design these layouts according to your needs. As soon as I click, it has a seamless switching. As soon as I click on the display, like I'll click on the first tab, you'll be able to see my video. Then I back click back again and you'll be able to see all the changes that are happening with just a single click. Next is the layout part. There are multiple amount of layouts as you can design in whichever way you want. Plus, you can also configure it according to your needs. That's also an option. You'll see numerous amount of layouts are present in LC100, same as your LC200. Next comes the overlay part. So overlay part like uh, there is on the screen, you'll be able to see recording and streaming. If I don't want to show anything, I'll just click on none and nothing will be able to visible on the screen. If you want to add your company logo or your presenter's name or the presentation topic, you can definitely do that just by applying the logo in the same format that is to be uploaded in LC100 and you can apply and that logo will be visible here in the overlay part. Same goes with the background part. As soon as I click, it is. I just told you it has a seamless switching. So as soon as I click on the background part, the background is applied to the final PGM view. You can also add or subtract your background from here as per your needs or as per your customer's need. Apart from the scenes, I'll now go to the camera controlling part. So all the IP cameras that are connected to the device can be controlled via this panel only. I just have to select the channel. Like this, I'll select the channel 1 or channel 2. And if I want to call the presets or move the camera, zoom in, zoom out, autofocus, I have to increase the 
speed. I have to turn on the tracking on and off because both the cameras that are visible here are tracking cameras. So if I want to turn on and off the tracking, I can also do it from this panel only. This is the, basically the front panel of LC100. So Lumens has uh, launched this device. This is a wonderful device that now help you to mix two channels to create a PIP side by side image to add or subtract the background and all. This device will help you to record uh, as long as around 800 hours of recording within the device cause now it has a 2 TB storage and also that it can stream on three platforms at the same point of time. You know that I am repeating all of this because there are so many wonderful features that I am I just told you. So basically Lumens are now planning to launch multiple ideas like Lumens are launching your voice tracking camera, your AI based tracking camera, your 12x optical zoom tracking camera. So Lumens are about to launch multiple things. Uh, for knowing more about it, you please stay tuned and thank you very much for joining. Thank you.